So <clears throat> let me give you a quick layout here. You, if you ever are watching a video or reading about online about Unity and they talk about the hierarchy, hierarchy is right here. See where my mouse is clicking? And the hierarchy just shows everything that's active in your scene. We'll get to scenes in a minute, and I'll tell you what that is about. Now, we, oh, we can come back to hierarchy, but everything that's active here. So the only thing that we have in our scene, well, first let me explain what scenes are. So you've got this window here where my mouse is. You have a scene, and so you have these three tabs at the top, scene, game, and then asset store. An asset store comes up by default now, where if you have the asset store listed, it opens up this uh, web page within the Unity editor. And this is where you can go, you can search and find all kinds. So people, other developers put their plugins for Unity in for, uh, some of them for, for, for free, other ones cost money, but it can really speed up your development life cycle uh, if you use these. I use packages a lot. I've, I've bought several in the past. Um, but I also use a lot of free ones, especially art and things that uh, that I'm not good at making. I can go here and I can uh, find some just, just to get my prototype up and going. So let's go back to scene. I'm going to click up here on the top left on the tab for scene. And so the, this, sh like I said, this shows you everything that's in your scene. We have it set for 2D, but if I click this little button here, that will put me in 3D mode. And then, and then I can hit it again, it puts me in 2D. And 2D is what we're gonna use them for app because apps are on your phone, they'll always be in 2D. So, by default, Unity gives us a one scene and they untitle it and we can save it in a second. Uh, and they give you a camera. They give you this thing here called the main camera. And if I click, I can do what I just did. I can highlight over and click the camera. I can click on it within the scene, or I can go over the hierarchy and I can double click there. If I double click, it automatically kind of centers everything on my screen. Uh, I can also, I'm, I'm using the mouse scroll wheel, sc scroll wheel to scroll backward, scroll forward. You can always, always also use the WASD button. So if I hit W A S D. Actually, I think a uh, WASD only works. Um, I think they've taken the feature. It used to be able to move around with WASD, and I don't know why I'm not able to now. So, so I think they've they've done away with that feature. It looks like I used to be able to hit WASD and move around in my scene. Uh, now I can only use the mouse. So I'll look into that. But I'm using the mouse for everything you see here. I'm up, down. Now, if I click on the device here, I can also move my camera up, down, right, left. Um, and, and if we go in 3D, you can see the box here that it's showing it up as. So we can move that around. I can hold, so what I did there is I held down the right mouse uh, mouse button and then I can scroll and see that's the viewport of my camera now we can uh, so the, the next thing we want to do now for the apps that we're gonna be building we don't necessarily need a camera the only time you really need a camera is if you're gonna be doing like augmented reality or some kind of virtual reality with your with your phone uh, for the purposes of this tutorial we won't and, and by the way a lot of those things uh, are a part of a plug-in anyway so you can we can do away with the, the camera in the scene for right now I'll leave it in um, so just a, a recap of what we've done so far I've we talked about the hierarchy we're, and we've done the scene game and then the asset store now over here if you look in the uh, far right of your screen, you'll see there's a thing called inspector and there's services. We won't really talk about services right now because these are more uh, for pro things. So if you if you got these analytics built in or other services, uh, you would lose them here. But we're not going to look at that. We're going to look at the inspector. The inspector is kind of uh, you, you'll be using this all the time. So, for instance, what the inspector does is it will anything that I've clicked on in the scene or that I've clicked on in my hierarchy, the inspector will show it here in any attributes that it has. So, about, so for instance, let's just go to the far left. I'm gonna click on main camera. And if we look at the inspector, we can see all these things associated with the camera. 
Now, when we pull a camera into the scene that's default in Unity, it's got a transform, which is its position in the world, its rotation in the world, and also its scale in the world. Um, and, and these are pretty important to know, too. We'll get back to those in another time. Uh, and then it also has this camera script or, 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 or uh, uh, a camera component. A lot, all these in, in the uh, inspector are also called components. You'll hear a lot of developers call, call them by component or call them by scripts, uh, mostly components. So we have this default camera. I'm not going to go through everything that it means right now. But some of the things that you can do if you're using a camera, you can change it from orthographic to perspective. And you can see how in the scene, the camera changed. And for, uh, for more um, explanation on that, uh, I'll, I'll try to put a link in, in the description down below to give you some reading on the difference between orthographic and, per, and perspective. Uh, but again, if you're developing just a 2D app, that's not going to pertain as much. All right, so we can also do, do <clears throat> change the size. You see, if I change the size here in the inspector, the camera field of view will change. I also have clipping planes. I'm going to leave those for now. Your viewport rectangle, that gives you the rectangle that you're looking through. By the way, I'm going to Command Z back to where I was. And you have some other, some other options for the camera here as well. Uh, again, we're not going to look at those right now in the tutorial. Um, just know that when you pull in, the, the main takeaway for this part is when you pull in an object from your hierarchy uh, into the scene here, that it has an in, in the inspector, it will show you everything associated with that object. So let's move down to look at the far left. You have this, <clears throat> by default, you have this tab called project. And let me try to move this out a bit. And the project is everything that's in your project. So right now we haven't imported anything so if we were using um, you know images for our buttons or we had plugins they would all show here um, and, and we will show those in a little bit right now it's empty because the ca even though the cameras are seen that's built into unity so your your project will show anything like uh, images you've imported it will show uh, any sounds that you've imported um, it, any scripts that you have associated with your project and those are the three main things that it will show uh, it, it can also pull in uh, XML documents or any kind of other readme files like text documents um, and we'll get to those as needed. So that's where you would go. So, you know, this is how you would import uh, or this is one of the places you would go to import different assets. And then whatever you have clicked here on the left, it will also show here on your right and it will show a bigger view of it. So as we start adding in folders, the different folders will show up along here and it's kind of like a Windows folder system and you can double click and then go in more so so I tell you what let me I was I was hoping that it had imported uh, the sample project and I could show you a little bit more of that so let me um, let me see if I can open up the sample project for you guys and we can explore some of this will make a little more sense with the sample project so one thing I can show really fast before we start uh, getting into more of the inspector thing is um, so Unity does come with some pre-built packages that you have to kind of tell it wh where to look for. So if we go to the top, uh, up at the top of your screen, hit the assets, and then we will go into import package. And then here's all of our different uh, packages that we can import. So we have 2D. Uh, these are a lot of scripts and things to do for 2D uh, um, things, which will will import uh, cross-platform characters, environment. A lot of these are really good if you're doing uh, prototyping for like 3D games. Let's just uh, import the 2D package. And a window will pop up very similar to this. And these are all the things in their package. So we have, we, I can close these up and show you. So this package has uh, four, four folders in it. One's 2D, one's called cross-platform input, one's called utility. And these are all part of our standard assets folder that we're importing. And within the 2D folder, we have animations, animator materials, prefabs. We can talk about what prefabs are later. But I'm gonna, we don't necessarily need these for what we're doing, but I at least wanna show you when I import something, how it looks over in the, um, over in the, the project panel and the hierarchy panel. So I'm gonna import this. And it shows you the 
the progress of importing this into your project. And again, the standard assets is something that Unity gives you for free. And if we look, now it's finished. If we look here, now in our assets folder, we have a standard assets folder. And within that, we have a 2D folder, which we go back, we have a 2D folder here. We have a cross-platform folder, editor folder, and a utility folder, and the same things over here. So if I click 2D, it shows you the 2D things here. And we got our prefabs here. So we have a character prefab. So just to give you an idea of what happens, so the cool thing, one of the cool things about Unity is say, we have this character uh, prefab here. And say if I wanted to use them in, in Unity, there's two ways I can pull them into the scene. I can either grab them and pull them in like this, or I can grab them and pull them in here. Either way, he will show up in my hierarchy. But just to give you an idea, I'll just throw him right there. And there he is. And you can see he showed up right here in my hierarchy. And we can see everything that's associated with him. I can double click on it and it zooms into him in the world. It's pretty cool. And to show this is a true 2D asset, I can click the 2D button and change it, the scene back to 3D. And as you see here, it works. And my WASD works again, guys, because I got out of Unity and went back in. But you can see, so um, I've, I'm, I've got my uh, right mouse uh, button down, and then I can use WASD. So I can use S to go back, W to go forward, A to go to the right, or less rather, B to go to the right. And then as I move into the left, I can also move my mouse around so I can kind of go around him. But yeah, there you go. And but I don't really I don't really want any of these assets. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to in the hierarchy here, I'm going to left click that and I'm going to delete that. And I'm back to where I was. OK, so we've talked about we, we've showed you I've shown you how to download Unity and install it. And I've opened the sample project. Well, this isn't the sample project, but I, I showed you how to pull in some of the uh, the assets they have here. And we also looked at the, I give you a really brief overview of what we'll be using Unity. But the, the, these, these four main things we'll be using more than everything anything in Unity. Knowing what your hierarchy is and what it entails, which is everything that's active in your scene will show up in the hierarchy your scene window, your game window, and this is very important when we start doing app development, and, and I'll show you that when we get to it, but right now it's on free aspect, but we can change the resolution here of the screen, so maybe we want it to be a, a 1610 screen. You can see it shaves off the sides to accommodate that. 16.9, 5.4, free aspect just fills up the whole available space. Now, when we get to doing our app for a, a one of the smartphones that you choose, uh, this screen here will accommodate the size of the phone that we would be de developing for. And then again, you have your asset store uh, tab, but I usually work in scene and and also do a, a, a double layout too, which is very helpful when you're doing any kind of 2D or app development. And I'll show you that in, in the next the next tutorial. So for now, for this tutorial, that's all we really needed. We just wanted you to go to the website, download Unity, make sure it opens up in your, uh, in your, on your machine. And I talked about some of the main uh, parts of Unity. In the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about the, the benefits of using Unity to build, to build apps. So Unity was mainly, as I explained before, it was mainly a, um, a, a, an engine to develop games with. But it's a it's a brilliant way to develop apps because of their cross platform uh, capabilities. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next tutorial.